Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our trusty Jeep again. Uh, it's a 97 Grand Cherokee with the 4 liter automatic, you know, uh, select track uh, transfer case, if I haven't mentioned all that before. So, uh, nothing spectacular, it's all stock. But today we're going to be working on the brakes. And um, namely, the brakes, the axle seal, the axle uh, bearing, and everything So uh, to do with out here. So what I've done is I went ahead and took everything apart, and I'll give you a rundown on what exactly it took to get everything apart. Here's the uh, passenger side rear, and uh, you can see this is the bearing that was actually uh, the problem. Uh, this was howling, you know, grinding really bad when you were going down the road. And when I had it all apart, I kind of noticed that there was no lining left on the uh, on the parking brake shoes. So I went ahead and pulled the um, pulled the axles out and everything. And I'm going to put a new bearing in here, new seals, new hardware kit. All that gets is going to get replaced, plus new shoes, obviously. And um, so yeah. So let me give you the rundown on how I took it all apart. So underneath the vehicle here, there's a, you know, the differential has the carrier in there and um, and all that good stuff. And you can see these bolt holes around the differential and there's 10 of them there. And they're all half inch. Uh, and they, they came out pretty easy. I just used a ratchet and a... Um, a standard well stock socket in half inch and, and it came apart really easy and so when I did that there's a um, let's see if I can get in here and show you where everything is or was there's a pin in that goes in here and there's a bolt that actually goes in through this side right here and that is a quarter inch head on that and I, I'll show you a picture of that in just a second so I took that out and then this pin in here uh, fell out and then the little spider gears inside of here um, came out and then that exposed the these differential uh, uh, spider gears yeah and uh, and then so what I did is I just pushed in I pushed in a little bit you know toward the center there on the axle and then the c-clips fell out these little c-clip guys right here and uh, so when that happened I could pull the oh yeah so I uh, so before, while I was doing all that I came over here and I pulled the caliper off of the uh, caliper bracket and those are just two half inch bolts two half inch head bolts that go into these two threaded parts here and the um the caliper just uh here's the bolts right here you can see the the head on them so uh when i pulled that off i could pull the the brake rotor off and uh and then that allowed the the axle to uh, to be able to be pulled out so I'll show you the axles now and the differential cover with that little bolt so here's the cover and uh, you can see it, it had the gasket on there and, and it had some sealer on there somebody had been in here before and I'm not sure why here's the little bolt uh, this is again that quarter inch and it has that long piece on it that goes all the way into that pin and I checked my little rubber rubber plug here and, and everything looked good with that and here's the gasket I, I picked this up at my local parts store uh, that was very inexpensive so I'm just gonna go back with a gasket maybe I'll put a little thin coat of black RTV on there or something but yeah so that's how I got it all apart it was um, it wasn't a difficult task but it it didn't take very long so now the next part is I'm going to show you how to get the seal out and the bearing out that's a little bit further back there and then obviously replace all that and then go ahead and rebuild the brakes back here at least while I'm in here and the pads the pads look good so I'm not going to replace the pads just these parking brake shoes and uh, and the hardware 
So, all right, let's get started. Over here on the driver's side now, and you can see this seal uh, was really, really leaking, you know, pretty bad. This all this, all this gunk is uh, gear oil that's been leaking out. This bearing is still pretty smooth, but I'm going to replace it anyways. So what I've got here is a uh, is a seal puller. Um, these work pretty good. You just kind of hook it in behind the seal there, and then you just kind of work your way around there a little bit and you see it kind of broke loose I'm just gonna keep walking it walking it around there Oop. there you go so it popped out um, well, there's the seal there and uh, it's uh, this probably has about 200,000 miles on it and so do these bearings here as you can kind of see there they were pretty floppy in there too so I uh, let's see if we can get this bearing out of here now. Show you how I do that. Okay, well, I ended up getting the bearing out. Um, I'll have to show you on the other side how this this tool works. But um, give you an idea, you just slide it inside of the bearing there. Then you tighten down this nut against here, and then you are supposed to attach a slide hammer to right here and then you slide the slide hammer out and it pulls the bearing out well I didn't have that so um, what I had was this big piece of metal here I used to put behind this washer when it was attached you know like this all the way out and then I just pried back here and uh, and the whole you know I pried like this and the bearing just it just popped right out it really didn't take a whole lot of effort so I've got the new bearing here and uh, there's the the number I used hopefully you can see that with the Sun um, it's 5707 from National I got these at my advanced auto parts and um, so yeah so here's the new one and uh, let's kind of compare it to the old one. Make sure it looks looks halfway similar. Yep, everything looks good. Um, looks like it's made a little different, but okay. Not sure who made these, but um, yeah. So everything looks looks good. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started in here. And what I'm going to use is the old bearing to uh, to drive the new one new one in. So I need to go get a hammer. I'll be right back. Got my new bearing in place. Going to use my old bearing as a uh, as something to beat against, and just going to drive both sides, trying to keep it keep it square and. Uh, square to the axle housing and hit it across from each other you know so if you drive it here come over here hit it a few times there's not a race get it bearing race it's not a race so just take your time and put put a little bit in there at a time Like I've got quite a ways to go there, but uh, that's okay. All right, I can feel it's all the way in there now, and you can see this. This bearing actually uh, just sets outside of the the housing uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, not very much. So that's how far it needs to go in there. So I'm just using a uh, hammer like this. Seems to work pretty good. I used that ball peen for a little while and needed something a little bit better. So now 
we've got our seal and it's 8660s uh, and this is the dana 35 or spicer 35 rear end um, the one with the c-clips so we're going to check this against the old one just to kind of make sure everything looks looks right and it does so we'll kind of get that started and uh, it should it should go on in there and uh, sit flush with the face of this okay I finally got it started and what I did is I got one side in and then the other side I just tapped until it kind of got started there then I I used the the bearing here to get it the rest of the way so let's see if I can get it the rest of the way in there so it looks like the bottom is sticking out further than the top so let me tap down there now this side over here oh yeah it's going on in there this time Right, that's nice and flush but this side right here needs to go in just a little bit more I finished driving the seal in and uh, got it nice and even all the way around there next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take apart this all the hardware on the brakes because I have brand new ones and you can see there's no lining on here either so there is a lining on this side I guess that's good so let's see here we'll go ahead and get started taking apart I don't know where to start one of these so just got that little clip off like that push that in maybe slide it down a little bit push it in slide it up it comes off of there pretty easy now we can go ahead and pull these pins out. I've got new ones of those in the hardware kit. Let's see. Next up, go ahead and try to get this spring out maybe. It right, looks like that came out pretty easy. We can leave that side in, no big deal. There goes the adjuster. Looks like uh, it fits in there, something like that. Um, let's see here. Should be able to. Okay. Well, that kind of fell apart pretty easy so it looks like there's the uh, the cable yeah and that goes in there like that okay well I got all that off I've got some brake parts cleaner here I might flush flush some of this stuff off of here Got all that cleaned up. Now let's get our new uh, shoes on there. So I've got the uh, the whatever brand from uh, Advance Auto Parts and S701. At least that's the application for for mine here. And uh, you can see this one was on the back with no lining. This one was on the front with a little bit of the lining and they look very similar so let's see what we got here I'm just gonna pick two of them out at random and kinda compare them it looks like everything is exactly the same so we'll go back with how I took them apart this was the last the last thing right here was that one big spring so let's get the hardware kit out so here's the hardware kit and that is H7002 and it's got all that cool stuff in there. 
that's the adjuster. We can go ahead and pop that out because it comes with a new one. Comes with two of these springs, the white ones here. Um, so I'm gonna gonna use use one of these. Yeah, it looks like it was in there something like that. Looks pretty good. If I remember correctly, that's how it was. It was actually like this with the long part back there. I uh, made a video so I could review it, which is really nice. So, uh, let's see here. The next thing, next thing. Down at the bottom, there was uh, a cool little spring like this now how did that get in there wow all right so we got this guy down here looks like there's nothing special about that goes in there like that and then we've got our adjuster and when I look back on my video, I noticed the little star was toward the front. So let's get that in there. Something like that. And then this little spring here went underneath of it and hooked into there. And then it comes with these new pins and retainer clips. So let's slide the new pins in the back. They go through there. And into the shoe. So let's see. Yep, looks like. like that's gonna be fun to get in there so all right I got the brake hardware put on here the brake shoes I put a little grease on this pivot point and and then these points right here and I greased up the screw that goes inside of there uh, springs went on in this pattern here and the clips I got on what I did is I put the shoes on first put the clips on and these pins in without any springs or hardware and then I put individually uh, the adjuster the springs on later and uh, that worked really well so um, there's everything kind of kind of in line there and now I'm gonna go get the uh, the axle and we'll go ahead and slide this side in but first I'm going to put a little grease this this is some red and tacky some extra red and tacky I had I'm gonna put a little grease in this bearing here just to kind of lubricate it before the oil you know just just to help grease it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put some around this seal here to help grease that up when I put the um, when I put the axle in there so that's next let's go get the axle